On the far side of the reef, some frantic activity catches Natalie's eye. Several groupers and jacks are milling around an inconspicuous overhang. The focus of their attention, a moray eel. A Gabriella's grouper swims through the pack, shaking its head. It's a signal for the eel. Head shaking is the first stage of the behavior that drew Natalie to the Red Sea, a cooperative hunt. Collaboration between two different species is incredibly rare in the animal kingdom. Communication to initiate it is rarer still. Hunts preempted by signals have only previously been observed in one population of chimpanzees. If the moray accepts a grouper's invitation, the two species will take on different roles in the hunt. While the moray snakes through the corals, the grouper cruises outside. Any small fish that flee from the grouper into the sanctuary of the reef meet a moray-shaped surprise. While those that the moray flushes out swim straight into the jaws of the grouper. By working together, the predators may be up to five times more successful than when hunting alone. How this deadly partnership evolved is a mystery. Could it be an instinctive, ingrained action? Or could this be evidence of the last thing we'd expect to find in a fish? A form of intelligence. For now, it remains the predator's secret. Close by, a red-mouthed grouper has cracked the code. Side by side, moray and grouper head into the reef a prey fish's worst nightmare. The pair soon have their targets cornered. The moray needs no second invitation. The grouper swings round the coral head to block the escape. But the eel gets there first. Inside the narrow spaces of the reef, the moray has triumphed again. <laughs> 